works for Apollo! <laughs> I love looking at the McFlurries in different countries. We have mango passion root topping and cookies. Caramel flavoured topping, M&M, &M, strawberry. Oh, it oh. sounds strange, but I'm, oh. oh. Yeah, I yeah. am still thinking. <laughs> so McDonald's is over there, and we've just come over here to eat our McDonald's in front of the Palace of Culture and Science. Let's check out what we chose. I went for a mango passion fruit milkshake, and then Kellis went for a lemonade, which was delicious. Um, and then we got a chicken share box. And the, the sauce selection was so strange. I've got cream and like a garlic sauce. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna taste nice. I don't know they are. Oh, I even like the colors of the box. <laughs> Cut the presentation on this. Look at this. We've got wow. tenders, nuggets, fries, and strange sauces. What more do we need? And with a view. It's so sunny. Park next to the palace, we found some inspirational chalk drawings. Oh, so inspiring. It's Pride today, and we've just found a Pride market. It's so good. <laughs> of the science and culture that we saw earlier and it's lit up with pride colours oh I love it I want to get closer but I also want a really cold drink from the shop <laughs> and go bed and have a shower yes I honestly had the best time at Tom Rydell concert and it was outside which I wasn't expecting I thought it was going to be inside Kellis did you love it? Ah! Tom it's beautiful it. it's so good oh way to save some money on holiday is to buy some breakfast from the local shop so we bought some cornflakes um i actually brought with me a bunch of stuff um some like oats so i'm just making that now it took such a long time to figure out how to use this pulp but i'm just making the most of having a kitchen in our airbnb and then also this came with the apartment there was like a bunch of teas i couldn't decide so i'm trying to <laughs> um a chai tea and then a French vanilla with a rose, so let's see what that tastes like. And, and then I think we're gonna have it on the balcony because there's um, like a little seating area with like a nice view. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Good morning, it is day two of Poland. Obviously this is our last full day in Warsaw. We're going to Krakow tomorrow. So it's gonna be a long, exciting day. We're gonna do, I think we're gonna go out for a certain area and then we're gonna come back, freshen up, change our outfit for like a nice evening meal. Then we're going to go explore Old Town and that area and then have dinner and stuff. So I think maybe a few hours first and then yeah, I'll let you know what happens. Um, but I thought I would show you my outfit of the day. As you can tell, it's very bright. It gets brighter. I told you it got brighter. Um, so I recently got this outfit from ASOS. It's ASOS own design. Um, I'll try and link it down below. But I am in love. Um, I always wear a lot of like whites and blacks. So it's quite a big shock and a change. But I'm feeling it and then I've got um, like wannabe Birkenstocks below matching nails and um, I got these from Target when I was in America so I can't link those um, but yeah let's go explore <laughs> oh 
We have made it to the Neon Museum. Started to doubt it, it looked a bit sketchy. <laughs> um, it's a very like district kind of area. But we made it. Oh wow. Let's go in. So we've just um, entered the museum and inside there's like a whole timeline of like how Neon was um, discovered and like the developments into making it into like Neon signs and what happened in Poland and basically the reason why all the signs were taken away. Um, so if you're interested in all the history behind it, I'll try and link somewhere down below to, like, to explain it better for you. Um, it's really interesting and now we have entered the main part of the museum take some photos and read all the signs. I never got it what you had to go I guess this world's too slow for you I think there's beauty in the grey, the cold but you just want the gold and there's no way I can beat it cause I got no chance, no chance when it comes to her She got the glitter and the fame so this means flower in Polish and it was saved by the owners of the flower shop and then donated to the museum. The museum is just there and right here there's like a rooftop bar, there's like hammocks and deck chairs, um, I think it's more of a bar and like food whereas we saw a really cute cafe there's a really cute cafe around the corner so I think we'll go there and get like a slice of cake and a drink or something um, and it had like quite a nice little seating area I will show you we treated ourselves in the museum Kellis got this lovely tote bag I'm gonna have to borrow it I think and then I got a poster and I'll set a photo of what it looks like but I thought it looked nice in my future kitchen I don't have a kitchen, but or maybe like framed in my bedroom. I don't know. Yeah, when I do have a house, I'm gonna have so many things upon it because I'm preparing myself. And also, it's quite nice to like collect things from your travels to decorate your non-existing house with. <laughs> Here it is. It has a swing and bean bags. What more do you want? <gasps> <laughs> decided we're going to do a Polish face mask, so we've gone for this one. We have just arrived at the Warsaw University Gardens, and I'll show you the front in a minute, it's gorgeous. Um, but I want to go on, like, on the rooftop, but the actual garden itself is so nice. We decided to get an Uber to the gardens um, rather than dealing with the tram um, and it was literally £2.75 so it's so cheap 
like a 10 minute drive from where we're staying which is like in the center near the palace of science and culture <laughs> just, it's so pretty growing abandoned place yeah it's, it's trendy <laughs> I thought it was going to be even higher. Oh well, this is still lovely. Like, such a nice rooftop. If you weren't already blown away, look at the side of the building. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it so much. It's just like a trendy area as well. There's more. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, <laughs> nine. I really thought that was going to be ten. I feel mugged off. It's so cute. So the globes are surrounding this little courtyard in the middle. So we like nice restaurants and cafes. It's like a trendy mall. <laughs> like, if you're hungry, you go to the food hall. You do a bit of shopping. We don't want to do either right now, but it's so nice to look. The Converse shop. Yeah, we'll go. Look how cool this food. What's it called? The food hall. Completely recommend coming to this food hall if you want some food. is a personal favourite, I think. <laughs> it to the presidential palace. Lovely. How grand. And just outside the president palace was all the cars over there. Nice. Tour, right next to the presidential palace is the Carmelite church very nice I don't like having a car park in front of a church I don't think I've ever really seen that before okay just next to the church is the monument of Adam this name <laughs> so nice there's some exciting Polish snack over there and Kellis did not want to try it you can try it so rude A vanilla chimney cake from this cute little store. What does it taste like? Yeah. It's like a hard donut. You sold it to me. <laughs> it's a hard donut. <laughs> it's a hard donut. It's a hard donut. It's a hard donut. Isn't this the cute? 
cutest anime you ever did see. I want to take a moment to just appreciate these postcards. They're so sweet. Oh, I think they're socks. <laughs> Okay, this was like my favorite gift shop I've ever been to. I brought two magnets and a keychain. The magnets aren't for me, but the keychain is so sweet. Yeah. So many nice buildings. Erwa. Oh, I like how it has brick. Oh, I like how it has brick. Just walking along the Barbican, it looks a lot darker than it actually is, um, but it looks really bad quality if I keep it light. Um, I have to make it brighter. This is the Barbican, and then we just walk along the wall. I'm coming! <laughs> oh, this is so nice. It is Monday and we're about to leave our apartment, check out and go to the bus stop where we're getting the bus to Krakow for the next part of our Poland adventure. So first I thought I would show you our apartment because I realised I haven't actually done that yet. So front door and it's kind of like a bigger version of a studio flat. So you come in, this is like the living room area. A very well used fan. And then it's like kind of like divided into the bed, the, the bedroom, and then look at the view, it's gorgeous. We were hoping it lit up at night, but it doesn't, I'd just like to confirm that. If you come out here, this is the balcony, and then this was like a nice place to have breakfast, I did that yesterday, um, and then this is like the gorgeous view. Shame about this, but you know, I guess it protects it from the birds. But there we go, <laughs> that's the view. And then we go inside. Carlos is currently having her breakfast. Modeling the table very well. <laughs> and then it's like a perfect cook area. I used this yesterday to make porridge. It's very difficult to find out how to use it, um, but I just about managed. And it's like a fridge as well, which is really useful. Um, I'd also like to give a shout out to the juice that I've thrown away already. <laughs> this is so good, like so nice. The apple and peach juice. And yeah, we've got all the storage that we could like hang up our things. There's an iron, um, Hoover, everything you could need. And then in here is just the bathroom. Really good shower, big mirror, good lighting. Yeah. And then this is where I've been starting most of my days. But I really recommend, I will link this apartment down below. And it's also right next to the bus station as well, where the shuttle came from the airport. So that's an extra bonus. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>